Hi students, today I want to introduce the present perfect to you and talk about movies. So let's get started. Have you seen any good series on TV? Or have you seen any good movies? This is what we'll be talking about today and that we'll be sharing with other students from across the globe in other countries. So I want you to quickly skim and read the dialogues and look for the answers to the following questions. Do people in the conversations enjoy watching television? Do people talk more about movies or TV? Let's start with the first conversation with Fernando and Jose. Have you watched many shows on TV, Jose? Yes, I have watched many cooking shows on TV. Jessica and Elizabeth. Has your brother gone to the movie theater to see the new comedy? No, he hasn't. But he has just written a nice review about a show on Netflix. Daniel and Oscar. Have you watched the new reality show on TV? Oscar. Yes, I have. It's very entertaining. Vanessa. Have you been to the Universal Studios in Hollywood? Yes, I went there last summer. Today we will be looking more deeply at these conversations. When do we use the present perfect verb tense? Let's look at these examples. Hmm, what could these mean? What's the situation? If you said experiences, you were correct. Anytime we're talking about things we have experienced, seen, or done, we can use the present perfect. I have just cooked chili, and, uh, cooked chili to eat before the movie. What do you think these two examples would refer to? If you said... To announce something you've recently done, you were correct. Look at the third set of examples down here. What do you think these are referring to? If you said that they communicate a connection to the now, you were correct. Let's look at the sentences from the dialogue and match them with their correct present perfect use. So um, let me pull myself up here. Let's look at this one. Number one, no, he hasn't, but he has just written a nice review about a show on Netflix. Do you think this is talking about experiences to announce something that recently happened or communicate a connection with the now? Let's look at example two, and then we can kind of see. Number two, Vanessa, have you been to Universal Studios in Hollywood? Hmm, what do you think that is referring to? And number three, have you watched many shows on TV, Jose? Okay, so we're looking at all of these and kind of seeing what they could be, be referring to. And the truth is that if you said um, to connect, communicate a connection to now, this last one connects. Vanessa, more of experiences, if that's what you said, that's correct. And the first one, it's something, has he just, he's just written a nice review, so to announce something that just happened. Let's look at a timeline of how we use the present perfect and its connection to now. Okay, Vanessa has seen many episodes of a comedy series on TV. Do you see how there are dots connecting all of these times she's seen it and to the present. Okay, that's where why we're using the present perfect and how it can be displayed visually. Do we know something happened in the past? Yes or no? Yes, right? We know that she has seen many episodes. Number two, do, do um, we know when she watched the series? Exactly. Did she watch it on Thursday night, on Tuesday night, on Friday night? No, right? We don't know the exact day. We know she watched it, but we don't know exactly when. And number three, is there a result to the present? Yes, there is, right? It's very connected to the present. The structure of the present perfect tense. So here you can see that you have the timeline. I have seen many cooking shows on TV. If you look, you can see that I, as the subject or the pronoun, have the auxiliary verb. Seen is the past participle. It is irregular. Many cooking shows on TV, we're going to just look at all this like a compliment, okay? And the question form will change. 
So in the question form, you're going to put have first. The auxiliary comes up to the front of the sentence. You, the subject, pronoun goes next. Watched, this is the past participle, it's regular. And then the new reality show on TV is just going to be the complement, okay? And then you can answer, no, I haven't, or yes, I have, for example. So then we have the subject pronoun, and then we have the auxiliary verb at the end. Let's look at the pronunciation of some of these sentences. I have seen many cooking shows on TV. Notice that what words are emphasized? What are the most important words in the sentence? Well, we usually call those verbs. We look at the verbs. We look at the adjectives. Okay, so I have seen many cooking shows on shows as well, the noun, on TV. Okay, so these are kind of like key important words in the sentence. I have kind of combines and we, we um, sorry, I did the intonation before, but I have would be I have, I have, okay, I have. It, it's like a natural contraction, I have seen. Notice that the intonation goes down. I've seen many sh cooking shows on TV. We don't say, I've seen many cooking shows on TV. We don't go up. We go down with the intonation. I've seen many cooking shows on TV. I've, I've. F -f -f it's like I've, I've. Okay, so I want you to practice saying that with me. I've seen many cooking shows on TV. Okay, now you practice saying it. Let's look at the question form. Have you seen many shows on TV? Again, this word is emphasized, seen. Have you seen many shows on TV? Have you seen many shows on TV? These are the words that are stressed in the sentence. Have you seen many shows on TV? Notice with the question, we are going up with the intonation. But first, I want to look at this um, link here. Have ya, have ya. I want you to try to practice saying that, have ya. Have ya? Notice how those are linked together. Have ya seen many shows on TV? Now we're going to be going up. Have you seen many shows on TV? To emphasize the fact that it's a question. Okay, you're doing great. Uh, the, third, the third one is, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No is emphasized. I haven't. Uh, notice that we're not really pronouncing the H too much. When we say it quickly in, in spoken English, we just say, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. We kind of take off that sound. And we're going down with intonation. No, I haven't. Okay, no, I haven't. You could, I, I, when I say it, I do hear a little H, like, no, I haven't. But it's, it's kind of eliminated, that huh, huh sound. It's not very strong. Let's do some practice questions now. This, these practice questions are in a Google form that you can work on and submit. She has just, you're going to put the participle of see, to see here, a great show on TV. I've put together a list of irregular past participles, common ones that you can uh, access in the document. Have you to go to the movie theater this month? Okay, you're going to conjugate this into the participle. I have too busy to watch TV this summer. Again, I've tried to make most of all of these irregular. I've just to make popcorn to eat during the movie. And you can also go back and identify which one is based on something you've just done, which one is an experience, which one is connected to the now. The TV is still off. She turned it off on yet. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and complete those questions on your own to practice this form. Um, for your speaking questions, so we're going to ask our partners, for example, where have you traveled? I've been to Rome, what about you? So ask your partner, have you seen any good shows on TV recently? Have you ever seen a famous actor in public? What activities have you done many times this week? Have you ever been on television? What's an interesting food you have eaten while watching TV? <laughs> in some countries you eat popcorn, in other countries you eat something else, okay? So that is your task now. You can uh, talk about a movie you would recommend now, and I want you to leave a, an audio 
message to your pals in Madagascar or Mac Mexico talking about a film you recommend. Either it's a film you have seen or a film you would like to see that you have read a review about. So actually it could be a film or it could be a TV series, whatever really you prefer. The idea is to just talk about entertainment, talk about things you've been watching, things you've been seeing, and engage with your friends across the globe on the topic of movies. I really look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you all so much. Great work today. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.